Hi, I'm Robin Higgins, and this is how to find the most active and least active nonmetals in the periodic table. All right, so if we look at our periodic table, this is the general shape, and so you should definitely be able to get your own in a textbook or by looking it up online. Um, the nonmetals are located here with hydrogen, then also over here on the top right hand side and then also this last column. And the most non-reactive elements in the periodic table all are here on this last column and these are called the noble gases. And the reason that they're the most unreactive is because they have a complete octet of valence electrons. And so let's take a look at what that means. If you look at neon, which is like right here on the periodic table, it's atomic number 10, which means that when it's neutral, it has also 10 electrons. So if you draw a basic schematic of neon, its first uh, electron shell is full because the first shell only has two electrons. And the second shell, you have eight left, and it's just enough to completely fill up uh, the second shell. And so this is how every element wants to be. It wants to have all of its shells completely full. And so neon has achieved that goal, so it really doesn't want to bond with anything else. If you compare that to fluorine, which is right next to it, atomic number nine, fluorine has the first two are completely full, in the next layer, you only have seven left, so you fill it almost all the way up, but it's still missing one. So one more could fit here. So fluorine is a deeply, deeply electronegative kind of, you know, angsty molecule because it knows it's so close to filling that second shell, but it's just not there yet. So neon will be completely non-reactive. and fluorine is going to be very reactive. And I mean, I don't think it's too general and vague to say that overall uh, fluorine is more reactive than a certain other atom that's a non-metal because there's just lots of different factors. You don't know what solvent you're in, you don't know what reaction you're doing, so you can't really just order them in terms of reactivity um, from greatest to leadest. But as a, ge as a general trend, um, neon and all of their noble gases are going to be unreactive and the rest of them are going to be some type of, have some reactivity um, depending on the circumstance, greater or larger. Uh, so yeah, this is basically it. And to figure this out yourself, you can just count up how many valence electrons each one has and you can figure out if it's a noble gas or not. I'm Robin Higgins and this is reactive nonmetals versus non-reactive metal, nonmetals in the periodic table. Yeah.